been a crafter all my life. And I, way before I even started school, and uh, I've just been exposed to uh, crafting and taking little things and making it into something uh, artistic. And I've, over the years, I've sold a little bit of my wares here and there. Not a, not a lot that I can, you know, brag about. This year, I've decided to really become uh, more serious about selling my wares. And uh, I put out a little YouTube video uh, back in probably February of what I plan on doing for this year. Now I'm falling a little bit behind of what I wanted to, where I wanted to be at this point in my, uh, you know, in this new year. I was going to go to a craft fair in February, right before Valentine's Day. When I started looking at it, there's a couple of uh, venues here that do craft fair fairs all year long. Uh, and they do them at casinos or convention halls. They have some big ones uh, at Christmas and I think in the summer. But all the other ones are like either a day or two days long. So when I went to the site, uh, you had to have a business license and all this stuff, which I don't have. I got in the 26th of March. So I said, okay, I'll go to this one. It was one day, seven hours, and at a casino. So I said, okay, I'll prep for this. So I've been prepping and uh, making new items and all like that. Now, in the meantime, <laughs> my son and daughter started planning to bring my daughter out here for her birthday. Four days after she was born, it was my birthday. So that was really nice uh, surprise. They kind of kept it as a surprise for a while, and then finally it came out that she was coming. So I was excited, and she was here for probably a little over two weeks. While she was here, I have to say I added a lot of laugh lines to this old face of mine, <laughs> but they're good because they're laugh lines, and uh, we laughed so much. We're a gaming family, so we played a lot of games, and we had a lot of fun doing it. I need to catalog uh, all my items that I've made. A lot of items, I, I take pictures of my items right away, and I post them. But I'm starting an online store. I don't have it up and running yet. So I, I need to, I've got probably two buckets of crafts that I need to photograph, uh, document, catalog it, and then upload it and put it on my website. Once I get all my stuff on my web page, I can uh, open it, start it going, and get it running. Hopefully, it'll be a success. I decided to um, go a different route with my crafting. For years I was doing jewelry, making a lot of jewelry. I made a lot for myself. Uh, I'll probably never ever wear all the jewelry I made for myself. But because I'm older, sometimes making jewelry with little pieces and stuff, you know, is getting more difficult to do because, you know, you get arthritis, uh, you know, I got fat fingers anyway, so anytime I start to, uh, doing things and upload it to my uh, online store, then I can start working on my other projects that I have. That's what I'm gonna be doing today is uh, working on my items, taking pictures, uh, like I said. Now see, this is something that I do. This here is a vase that I, I thrifted for, you know, really reasonable price but i did this base and made it look like an old clay pot it's a tall vase as you see very tall but i love the texture and stuff on it it just came out so pretty and i love the the, the colors the browns and stuff it looks like a like you just dug it up you know from an ancient ruin and this is what I love about it. 
So this is the kind of stuff that that I need to take pictures of, that I need to post to my uh, website and get everything, you know, going. That's what I'm going to be doing pretty much this week. I don't know if my sister may came, come over today. We were going to watch uh, 90 plus or 90, 90 for Brady. So she may come over later. We'll watch that, have an afternoon movie. But for now, I'm just going to start taking pictures of my items. I'll let you know what I'm going to do after that. Okay.